Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about this awesome game. So I had way too much fun working with Greg on reviving this awesome tic-tac-toe. And I decided that why not do it on this roulette game that, we, that was made years ago as well. This had, I think, a first domino on there, running NetMF 4.1, and I couldn't find the code anywhere. This is from like 10 years ago, I don't know how long. Very long time ago. Then we decided we want to revive this, and then we were picking a board, and a main board or a processor, what, which, what we're going to use on here, because of course we want to use TinyCLR, that's the latest technology. And then we decided to continue with the Gadgeteer as a maybe a last time goodbye Gadgeteer demo to show you that you can truly enjoy Gadgeteer still in, 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 in whatever project you're building while continue using uh, TinyCLR if that's an option. So in this demo, I have a Gadgeteer main board, all these bunch of these wires going to the back to breakout boards. I'll show you the breakouts in a minute here. And I'll, in each breakout has seven IOs because the seven pins on each socket and each one of these IOs is going to one of these LEDs. The LEDs, these modules already have transistors on them. So we don't have to worry about controlling a, this giant big LED through the processor. The processor is only controlling the transistor that exists on each individual LED. And there's a separate power source to control the LED. So all the processor is doing is saying on, off. And then we have these big giant buttons that are pretty stable. You can, you can hammer these pretty hard and they, are, they wouldn't break. I've had this at Maker Faire and people were going crazy and it survived. So this is survival proof. Maybe I'll take it home one day to a party and see, you know, if, if this will survive a Gus's basement party, and then I'll let you know. So anyway, um, on the top, we also have a buzzer just to make some noise. I have disconnected it just for now. I'll plug it back in when I play the games to make it more exciting. And um, I'll show you the back right here. It's pretty heavy because it's made out of wood. So this is, this is like all two by fours all around. And then we put plexiglass so you know we don't want people touching the wires and yanking them out. So we have the breakout boards all around. This is, thanks to Greg, this is much nicer than the first version I had. The first version was more like this. Very, very scary. <laughs> so, but then uh, Greg decided to uh, cut the wires shorter at the breakouts nicely around. So each, like I said, seven wires going to eat like seven LEDs. We have them going all around and one of them is going to the buttons. We have nicely tucked the uh, power supplies back here. There are a light bulbs inside the buttons and there are 12 volts. So those are controlled through like a 12 volt power pack and there's like a five volt power pack as well. We have the DP module on here, so the 12 volt can be powering everything. So I, I'm not exactly sure what happened back then. Oh, the 5 volt, I remember now, the 5 volt was required for the LEDs. And 12 volt was required for the, um, the light bulbs that are inside the buttons. And we have the two power packs uh, connected to these LEDs. Uh, pretty simple input, outputs, outputs the, that control the LEDs. Input that is uh, coming from the... Uh, the buttons. Um, we it's pretty dark, bright here. You can't see the light inside these, but these are lit. Believe me. Uh, so let me plug in the uh, the tunes module over here. So it makes a little bit of noise when it's when the um, roulette when the LED is going around dancing in a circle. So each player is trying to get their blue LED. So there are like four blue LEDs in each corner. So let's say I'm, I'm playing this one over here. I got the red one, not good. Try again. Come on, we're on camera. Blue, I got faster. Let's try again. Perfect, faster. Sorry. So that's the concept. It's, it's pretty simple. And then you can change the software to make it do different things. So this is tons of fun and it's really cheap to build. Why don't you build your own? We're going to give you all the source code. Tiny CLR, it's C Sharp. You're using Visual Studio. You can debug, step your code, do everything you enjoy doing on a PC. 
but now you're doing .NET on a small system. With all the code available, you can rebuild this in your garage, and this will be, believe me, tons of fun in every party. We'll see you next week.